Okay, that's a little rusty, everything in working order. Let's see if I can pick my creation. But the key's working like a charm. What? Last try, then I really have to give up. And give this into the hands of more capable pickers. And I thought I had this all figured out. Just touch five. And a little bit of a false set, nothing on four. Touch three. Nothing on two. One is binding tightly, good click out of one. The binding order completely changed. It's like a different lock. Well, it is a different lock. So many changes, okay. Little click out of four, another little click out of four. Five feels like it's binding, but I cannot reach. Very subtle click. Another click, that one was not quite as subtle. Nothing on four. Pretty sure three is binding. Nothing on two. I think there was one. Nothing on two. Have to change picks again. And figure out who's next. Five is binding. Little click. I lost tension. We established tension, but I think I lost something. Yeah, I lost five, just got it back. Got four. Cannot reach five. Nothing on three. Two is binding. Not anymore. Not sure about one. Okay, back to the back. Couldn't reach five, so I'm switching. Certainly can reach him now, but it's not his turn. Nothing on four either. Nothing on three. Two. One is binding. Or so I thought. No one? Nothing on five. Ah, four. We got a deep fall set. And now everyone is binding. Okay, let's start with two. I think he's probably the first to go. Counter rotation. <gasps> and we're open. 
Whoop! I'm impressed by my creation. This is indeed a worthy challenge log. As you can see, we're open. I'm going to gut this now just to prove that I actually picked my, my challenge log and not something else that I just thought I would present to you. So let me get everything into order. Thanks again to FT for the nice tweezers. They're really great for these kind of things. One. Two. And I'm putting them down the way they are. Up against the key pins. Four. Five. All right. And uh, in the core, if you can see that, come on, focus. Mm, better. Um, we have a little bit of counter milling in number four and number two. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's have a look at the key pins. Uh, at the pins. All of them, not just the key pins. The key pins are actually the boring ones. So you can see I didn't change much about the key pins. But I did make all of those. And it turns out they're actually working quite nicely. Okay, that's all from me. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.